Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Civ 5 as Babylon, and today we're on Immortal, and I've just found a nip her, and the little nip is going after some iron here, so after not having iron before, I do have iron now. I'm pretty comfortable with the number of cities I have, and I can start thinking kind of about what I want to do with the game from here on out. I have a pretty good swath of land, I have a decent city-state buffer, kind of between me and, say, Jakarta, between me and England. So I think my first target, if I'm going to be going for anything, is going to be trying to take out Stockholm. If I decide to go that route. Now I could go a little bit more of a peacemonger route. Remember this is Babylon. Babylon is very good once you start popping out great scientists. And right now I'm not really on the verge of popping out any great people, so we want to change that. But I do have a granary here. Akata is still finishing up the water mill, and then I can start working on some other things. I'm not going to be getting a religion at this point, but I at least want a little bit of a pantheon here. Probably need to start popping in some, uh, let's here. Technically, I can go for Petra, but I'm probably way too late to get Petra. I know a lot of people love Petra. And that's funny, because it's like plus one food, plus one production for everything but floodplains. Well, there's a lot of floodplains in the city, which is one reason I found it. Found it. I really don't think that I can get Petra in 44 turns. The city just does not have the production value. Even though there's some very good desert hills and all of that around here. Desert River Hill fresh water is an amazing tile. But, yeah. Not that amazing because it doesn't have sheep. Oh, Reddit. Thank you very much. So this is kind of just where we're going right now. I'm building the Writer's Guild here because I have a feeling, especially once I can get these bananas and stuff, that I can, uh, and I'm just going to let my city naturally grow that direction because I don't expect Sidon. If Sidon gets close to taking those, I'll buy those tiles out. But I want to actually, let's see here, how cheap is it going to be? 75, and then that's probably going to be 100 something. No, only 65. We'll go ahead and get that wine now. So that way I can trade it. And Sidon's not going to be able to go in that direction. But I do have the potential for 8 iron if I can get it working eventually. So I did queue an additional worker because I do need to work some of these tiles here. But as soon as that farm's done, I'm going to send this worker down here just to get started. So let's go ahead and get these guys back to fortification. Actually, I should probably send them over there just to finish scouting. I have one composite bowman. I'll be able to upgrade this some more. Once again... He's going to be, the Swedes are going to be feeling a little stuck with where they are because there's a lot of city-states. And he has Carthage right right next to him as well. And I don't know what Carthage is doing due to the fog of hexes. So ivory for wine, not bad. I want the happiness. I'm doing decent on happiness considering I'm getting a net positive right now. And actually he built Burka next to Old Faithful, which is pretty good for him. Okay, so let's go ahead. And you are continuing to be our road maker. And I've got enough tiles here to where I need to start getting some iron so I can get some gold per turn for iron. And really, really, Gandhi. Okay, there. I am officially confused about how I'm supposed to get to these guys. I'm just really, really confused. I guess there is a land bridge up here that's not outside of the realm of possibility. But we'll just keep scouting. Eventually, I'm going to circumnavigate the globe. I'm pretty close to it already. Genoa may be on the end of the earth over here, but... So, we have... Oh, wow! We have one of our first wars. Let's look at Info Attic just to see the global relations. Now that I've met pretty much every player. We have one war, we have one open borders, we have lots of trades, and we have uh, just one hostility here. So, I guess India and... Uh, that's that's not going to be a really amazing war, I don't think. Anything to really talk about here? So, natural wonder. What did I find? Okay, so Sri Pada. Not too much there. So, let these guys fight. That's good. One of the most important things I've learned going up in difficulty is forcing your neighbors to fight is a viable and important tactic. So let's see here. Burka's okay. I have some text they own. Some texts that they don't, but let's go ahead and grow Nippur. Sending these trade routes internally, to me, is a much more valuable use of time. So Malacca, Malacca, Laka, and we may actually be at the at a peninsula here because these city-states don't typically grow like this unless they run out of places to grow. Which means I think these guys want to fight each other, but Malacca's actually aligned with Dido. you got to be careful for Dido. She likes to do that. So I really just want to see, if is this the end? And actually, you know what? 
there is a little sliver of land over here. Maybe we can get to the other side of the map. So that's here. One. Yeah, so that's the end of the coast. I'm going to have to wait for em embarking, I think. Actually, so let's go ahead and auto move the scout down here. So I can see where. Wow, of all the places India could settle, Mumbai and then way down here. That's a. Uh, it's a little bit of an FU to Jakarta, I would say. And that's not bad. Alright, so what do we got here? We got it's a little bit of extra scouting info. I just want to kind of see what the lay of the land is. Here is. So I think this one was sending food. That city's that city's pretty well grown. Let's actually see if I can get some better trade routes. I don't have a lot in terms of land trade routes right now. And maybe I should be sending some production to something else. Do I want him to? Maybe I do want the city to get to like 10 first. I don't think that's a horrible use of trade routes this early in the game. My gold per turn is pretty healthy. I'm not that desperate for it. But we'll get the Riders Guild and that should help us out because I'm feeling a little culture deficient right now. And that can be a big problem later on. So there's the peninsula at the end of the world. More road, more fortification. Let's just go and fortify in a purr. Because I'm going to want roads to all of these so I can get around there quickly. And Burka obviously looking for, uh, looking to snatch up these resources before I can, which is smart enough. Alright, so choose production. Riders Guild, got that done. That means we need to start getting some specialists in here. Fortunately, I have some tiles that I can abandon for specialists. And in fact, let's go ahead and rework the crab. So, great rider in 15. Unfortunately, I do not have an amphitheater. I don't think I have, actually, I don't think I have any great writing slots right now. No, so we need to, uh, I could have that great writer culture bomb made for it, but it's probably better if I get an amphitheater first. Which means, let's see here, 20 turns. Growth in one turn, that's fine. That's actually fine. Would probably be better practice to work that line eventually, but I'm getting a third worker. Like I said, I just really need to start getting my guilds together. Can actually build a national epic here before long, which requires a monument and everywhere. I think national epic's going to be really important in this game. I don't normally build it as quickly. I can probably delay the Colosseum just a little bit, so we'll do the national epic first. And why is that farm not being worked? And... I still want this city to grow, so we'll do that. And that's a sad little quarry, so we'll just keep that there. I can work with the production, okay? I'm gonna need to farm this before long. So we're not stealing workers in the beginning of the game, can kinda be a pisser, so. Sidon and Rome. Apparently Rome does have a route over here, and I just didn't explore it enough. So let's go ahead, and uh, what was your last route? Your last route was to Belgrade. We don't need to do that. Let's put you in Dur and see how that goes. If I can get anywhere here. So, worker action. Start with more roads. Start with iron. Start down here. Some pearls. And. Aw, oh, Caesar wants my crabs. That's what that icon means. There's. I am very uh, serious about this game when I say Caesar wants my crabs. Alright, so trade routes for Babylon, for Sidon, for Belgrade. Let's go. Well, I don't want to get too culture cap or too happiness cap, so let's go ahead and trade with Sidon right now. Sidon wants me to connect gems. I don't have anyone that has gems right now. Uh, Leventa wants me to denounce Indonesia, but Indonesia is one of my friends. Oh, wow, or actually our declaration of friendship expired. So I can denounce them and get that quest if I really wanted to. Uh, let's see here. I'm save How much is it going to cost to build a university? I think it's about 600 or 800. So I'm actually going to save my gold right now for that. And once I get this iron hooked up, and I'll get some more wine hooked up as well. Should be in decent shape. This is not a lot of horses, but still horses I can sell. Would love to be able to get that wine too, but I have I have almost a monopoly on wine at this rate. So I got a pantheon. And I got a pantheon the same time Babylon became religious. That's hilarious. Alright. 
So let's see here. Actually, I didn't get a Pantheon here. All right, so is it too late to form a Pantheon? Too late to form a Pantheon. All right, well, we're not going to save for a great profit. Actually, that's pretty nice. Because if we look at the religion that we have here, so your plus one from camps doesn't do me a lot. Use faith to purchase monasteries. I like monasteries. Monasteries are actually amazing because I have so much wine down here. So that can be really good. And can build uh, research buildings with faith. So missionaries, there we go. You know what, whoever sent me the great little wheel here, that would be England, I will happily take your religion. Thank you very much. It's actually a pretty nice one for what I'm trying to do here. So we're going to have our faith just kicking it. Sometimes you win with that, sometimes you don't. So let's see here. Amphitheater. I have two amphitheaters. I'm going to be able to get a great work of writing before a slot before too long. And I'll accept your embassy. That's fine. I have a uh, buffer anyway, so I am not entirely sure what Rome is doing at this point because that's Raventa. Let's go through Ur. I'm real. I'm just really curious if they're just isolated up here in one of these land bridges. But I did get education. That's going to sort of inform my build order. And I do want harbors. And I do want sea trade routes. But it's probably better if I go... Just from a defensive standpoint, it is probably preferable for me. I can get compass first, but then I think I want to go ahead and get physics and work down that way. Because that'll let me get a trebuchet, which is important. Crosswomen are going to be pretty important eventually, but it lets me get some other defensive units here because I'm going to need... Oh, that's an actual swordsman. See, like I said, I need to upgrade my defenses eventually. Because my gold's about to get disconnected, unfortunately. So let's see, there's one trade route. Almost done. Not trade route, the old version of trade routes that we have in this game. So let's see, that swordsman is going to take a lot of damage. Can I kill it with the warrior? I don't think I can kill it with the warrior. No, but I can get pretty close. All right. So that means that gold's going to get pillaged, which sucks, because I'm going to lose happiness again, and that's what I get for uh, not having proper defenses. And now I can't actually possibly build a university. 660 gold. That's not bad. I'll go ahead and switch you guys from a... National Epic's going to be good eventually. Let's get the university first, because I want to get Oxford as fast as I can. And let's go ahead and build the university in 23 turns. I think that's because the barbarian's right there. So we'll put it. We'll go ahead and put the production towards it. So I'm going to need yet another worker before long. So Akkad, you can actually finish the amphitheater because I do need one great writing slot. And then Nippur, once you finish building a uh, library. I can buy the uh, university there and then work on Oxford and the other place. So let's see here. You want to buy my horses again? Happily. Once I get some iron, I can sell it to someone who doesn't neighbor me as well. And there we go. The stupid barbarian did what I thought he would. And healed up. Let's see. That'll kill him. So that means I actually... Oh, that didn't kill him? All right, well, this will. Should. There we go. All right, so there's one caravan. University on production. Back to over here. Need to get that mine up ASAP, so let's get that fixed first. Once again, three workers for this amount of tiles is kind of asking a lot at this stage of the game, but I did get more wine, so that's good. Should be expanding to the horses next and then to the fish. So not bad. You want to buy my horses? You can have my horses. And I'm at low happiness, low production. I have practically no military, but I'm okay with that because I actually have pretty decent defenses. Let's see here. What's going to be best to get next? Probably the wine. 
And that is a second fucking swordsman. So we are going to... I have some time to do this, so let's go ahead and buy a composite bowman here. And I will, in fact, fortify until healed over here. Because I'm going to have to take out that camp. Sidon will be very pleased with me anyway. Really, Gustafus Adolphus? That's who you want to have a war with? That's fine. You have fun with that. You, you guys can fight all you want. I have a feeling since I'm more of his direct neighbor, that's who he's going to care about. Alright, so road done. How much gold? Nine gold. Pretty good. Happiness, still a problem. Which is a little unfortunate. So we'll plop another farm down here. Plop a plantation here. And then shoot this guy. Really? I can't? That stinks. Well, I'll get that fixed before too long. So I'm gonna send these two to actually take out. Oh, why can't you, why can't Sidon take out the camp itself? So I want to. All right. So down here. And I don't want to go to war with you, but I can embark now. So there we go. Another swordsman. And then, hi, ah, you got taken out by a warrior. How screwed up is that? All right, so let's go ahead and repair that. Need that ASAP. Do not like four unhappiness, but this is what happens when I plug for universities. And do I have, I actually should have some excess resources in a few. I find. Somebody's going to want some spices for me. Somebody's going to want some crabs. So we'll go ahead and just send you guys up north. Repair this. I'm going to need some happiness buildings before too long, but I do have Coliseum. I do have a circus built. Amphitheater is still a go. This is not the best. This is like a very fast people growing city. It's not really a... Uh, I, I say that with lack of happiness. It's not really the fastest other kind of city. Actually, let's see here. I have two iron and one horse. Who wants my iron? Let's start with China. You would like this, right? Yes, okay. I will take four gold per turn. Very happily. And then do I... Okay, will you buy my horses, China? Yes, okay, good. Six, six extra gold per turn gonna be very useful for too long all right so Ur is not pleased with me for some reason I can't embark on my second move in one turn who knew so I'm generating one faith one faith okay and I can really can't embark okay well you know what I'm just gonna send this guy back all the way back we'll send you all the way back to Babylon and you can figure it out so there's our spearmen. So there's our camp. I think that camp's just been there. And there we go. Augustus Caesar's declared war on China. Didn't see that one coming with these two right next to each other. All right, so let's just explore over here. We're now at zero happiness, which is OK enough. We're going to be in the negative again momentarily. What are my deals like? Uh, I really feel like I should have some extra resources momentarily. So let's find out. Yeah, there we go. Anybody want my wine? You do. For gems. Yes, please. Don't let your gems get pillaged. I need them. And that should actually... I think someone was demanding gems for We Love the King Day, but it doesn't look like I'm going to hit that. So, And this should be decent before long. Going to move you all up here. Fortify till healed. And where do you all want to go? Don't really want to do anything with that jungle just yet. Probably need to hook up that wine. 
said, I do need to get a few faith producing buildings just so I can get some, uh, there we go, there was one gem for Sidon. That was a city-state quest. So between that and uh, Rome is currently their ally. I need 38 influence to get over there. So if I can take out the barbarian camp, which I should be able to this turn. One and two. There we go. Barbarian camp eliminated. And now, wow, what do you guys want? I want you to support their war effort by gifting units. Okay, well, that is a thing we can do. Maybe with that warrior, I don't know. But at least that barbarian encampment's gone, so that's a little, a little less annoying. And if I, see, so I'm gonna get a great writer. And we do have a great writing slot in a cod. Not the capital, but what can you do? All right. So these universities are going to be very important for specialists. So we'll get that. So there's an additional wine. Let's hook up that iron. Ha! See, Burka was trying to reach for these things, but I got them first. I'm not sure if that's actively buying tiles or what. But it's going to be interesting if I do decide to go the warmonger route. Who am I going to have to take out or how? Because some of these AIs really like to explode before long. I have an... I should... There's Carthage. Looks like Dido might be in trouble already. But hey, I mean, what can you do, right? So here we go. One down there. If you all are going to be my great road builder, might as well finish building the road. Put you all back here. Let's actually send the warrior up. Oh, look at that. Somebody totally walked across water. So plantation before long. I've got all the wines in the world. So there's Sidon, who's no long, who's now my ally, which is nice. Great writer's been born. Great person's been born. Hooray. And does somebody they reckon so let's see here. Florence recognizes my great writer. That was one of their quests. I think. So there's there's Florence. Not Laverta. So Florence, do they like me? They're friendly with me. So what do I get from them each turn? Six culture per turn. That's good. I like cultured city states. And I should be allies with Sidon, and Sidon is a uh militaristic city-state that gives uh, Sifai. I'm not actually sure what that is, but we may find out before too long. So library's done. We'll be able to buy the university next turn, so let's work on Lighthouse first. Because we do have some ocean tiles and we have some fish. Water mill's going to be pretty good. Actually, cargo ship. Because we do have that additional trade round. So university next turn. Universities are going to be slow going here for a little while, but there we go. So let's see, I could do a treatise and get not enough culture for it to matter. Let's go to the amphitheater in a cod. May God forbid the now Oxford University is going to be nice for chugging out some uh, great writer slots and all that. So might as well alert here. And I'm going to need to build up my military before long or the AI is going to start licking their chops. Uh, no, but let's see, do you want my horses anyway? No, because you only, you can't get me gold. Good thing I didn't want Machu Picchu. I didn't want it anyway. So yeah, apparently... Apparently there is... I guess they embarked to come over. Is this actually both of them stuck on one island? That's going to be hilarious. It is. So here we go. I don't have Renaissance Era to get rationalism yet. Need to start thinking about what I want to do with this next. Patronage, piety, honor, liberty, not awful. Exploration. Okay, probably going to go honor. Just because I really like getting discipline and I really like getting military cast. That happiness boost is pretty nice. If I can get the professional army in time, that'd be good. But those are pretty good. Usually by that time I can get a little bit of rationalism. Getting great scientists 25% faster is actually really nice. Plus two uh, for secularism is also really good. But it depends on how many specialists we're going to be right, and you're really growing that slowly. Um, let's try that again. Coliseum up. We need to start working these jungles. 
We have two universities actually, so we want the city to keep growing. We don't need all the production. Actually, I kind of like that horse production. Let's go ahead and take that out. We want, nope. We want those two. So now we're going to start generating great scientists, which goes a lot faster for me, and I can actually plop a great scientist on the grassland freshwater. At least that's what I like to do. Oh, Since you're wine for seven per turn, don't them. need to do a swap for swap just yet. And there we go. The war that I was expecting having Gustafus there. I'm not even have to make these people fight. They're just fighting each other. So that's good. Good for me, at least. So that's your Ragusa trespassing, whatever. See as far as we can see. I can embark, so we'll just send that warrior over as a scout. He's not doing anything else for me right now, anyway. Alright, so I think this is actually a weird Pangea map where two of the sieves actually ended up on an island and the rest of us... I don't know, Dido has a lot of places to the west where she can fight, or expand to, but there's not a lot of resources that she can see because it's mostly tundra. And it looks like the city-states are roll Florence or whoever's are rolling in the uh, iron and stuff. But there we go, a spy's been recruited because someone else entered an uh, era here. So what's the highest population city here? Rome. Who's the tech leader right now, I guess is my first question. Uh, text discovered. That would be ba Babylon. Is So I may not have too many people to try and go up against, but I can probably spy on Rome right now. See, that's what I was talking about before. At least on Immortal, once I get like some of my science stuff rolling and everything like that, I'm at 103, and that's even with just one of the universities built and with these specialists like that. And with the National College in here as well, plus 50% science, I'm going to be able to get a tech lead pretty pretty good so i just got to keep up with my food resources before too long because this is this is kind of a uh there's not as many grasslands as i would like let's put it like that but we do almost have uh physics and we are going to keep building roads and we are going to explore over here maybe need to negotiate open borders with somebody uh no that's not good enough Let's go, let's see here, how's my happiness doing? Because that's probably because I just hooked up another wine, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if I can do better. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? Maybe. Like I said, I want to see what my happiness is like, because it may be better for me to issue that. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. That's also terrible. You guys are, you guys need to make a better deal. I mean, I'm at six happiness right now. I can probably afford to uh, go tech for, or just go for straight gold per turn or something here. But England, it's here. Can I get a wee, can we pop a king day here with anybody? Doesn't look like it, but I do have a lot of resources they want. Actually, yeah, I can't at all. So let's, let's trade with Dido. I have two wines, so I guess my England deal expired as well. Ball. So let's let's keep in England's good graces. I'm very happy with the Go that ahead. English religion that I got. So I want my cities to follow that one. That's actually a really nice one for me.